What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Find some news, baby. Let's take five some news. Today, there's no testing list, but we did have 20 mods release. The Farming Simulator magazine is out now. The next Giants live stream is today. And we got seven modders to talk about, including a new tease from 82 Studio, and he made me read something. It's pretty funny. Let's check it out. We may not have a testing list, but we do have some new and updated mods that are already out on the mod hub. In total, we have 20 mods today for all platforms, nine new and 10 updates. And PC and Mac players got one new. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that link below. The first edition of the Farming Simulator magazine is here. And unlike things similar to this before, you can actually buy this no matter where you are in the world. You can find it around Europe, everywhere that you would buy magazines, and you can even pick it up as a PDF download on the Farm Sim website for about four bucks usd which i have done there's some pretty cool stuff in there including an interview influencer spotlight with german youtuber ensgar aka inplay what up dude and a section about mods because it's a purchased item i'm not sure what i can get away with showing here so i'm just gonna be safe and i'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out if you want to pick one up oh and make sure you use the code DJ Goham at checkout. I don't know if it actually helps or not, but uh, it's an option, so it can't hurt. It also says April 2023 at the top. However, Giants do say that the second issue will be released later this summer. Today is the next installment of the Farming Simulator Community Multiplayer Spotlight Series featuring Virtual Farmer hosted by Kermit from Giant Software. The live stream will start at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific at 7 p.m. UK Time. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out, and I'll see you in chat. Jumping over to modern news, and we start off with 82 Studio and a new mod tease, but he would only send it over if I would read this out word for word, so here we go. On oh, today's top stories, we are going backwards. I have a tease for you from 82 Studio, and I am the only one that has it. He sent me this, and he placed me to be in his live stream later tonight, and you know that I'm an old man inside of a not-so-young body, and I go to sleep early, but tonight, oh tonight, I have to see it. Thanks, David. Really appreciate it, man. <laughs> I guess we'll see you guys tonight at 82 Studios live stream. Hopefully start doesn't start too late, though. Chris S. and Riley S. are back with us, and they have submitted their Colossus 7000 Cotton Harvester for testing for all platforms, finally. They've made a few changes to the mod since we showed it off last weekend, but nothing too crazy from the original. I will do my best to keep you updated on the progress of the mod as it goes through testing, or if it fails, something like that. And if you haven't seen it already, definitely check out the preview video that I did, I will leave a link down below for you. They aren't the only ones that have recently submitted a mod for testing, as Suspenda Modding has also submitted his Pivot Irrigation mod, Flat Rack Containers, and the Titan Tank Containers. Those Titan Tank Containers are PC only, by the way, but there's already a mod out for all platforms. Anyway, I believe that they were supposed to all be submitted back with Giants about a week ago, but I do think a few things came up. Nothing to worry about, we should see them all on the list soon, and a little birdie told me that you should be getting a closer look at the pivot mods this weekend. Wonder who it could be? Stay tuned. AgroMod shows off another sneak peek of their micro tractor pack for all platforms, saying that the pack is still being worked on, but we should see a video from them showcasing the mods soon. So far, AgroMods have only shared pics and small details like coming soon and things like today for the public, as the rest of the information is unfortunately behind the paywall. OlsFS has something kind of interesting for us, a little mobile house kind of thing, similar to the huts that were pulled in the Grand Tours a Scandi flick. Go check that out if you haven't seen that, it's pretty funny. Anyway, Hull says that it won't have a sleeping trigger in it, as it's impossible to make a moving or attachable sleeping trigger for consoles, so it's simply for roleplay purposes, but you can also use the portable sleep trigger from Schultz Modding that's been on consoles since March of last year, well over a year. Together, these will work just fine and be pretty epic. All right, let's talk about some mapper news, starting off with Lancey Boy and his American Falls map. As of now, the animals are in, and he says he's slowly getting used to the hoop barn design. I know the sheep, at the very least, are going to feature this hoop barn design, and possibly a few others. We'll just have to wait and see. And lastly today, Poor Boy Modding has made some new additions to Black Mountain, including the addition of peas, lentils, and flax, plus the swathing ability from Edgewater, and the recycling of waste from Gwendol. It may be only a few things, but Holy cow, these are some big ones. And holy cow, the segue to the outro is uh, here. Yep, that's what it is. And just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsimnews.com thanks to Yoast Modding. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything 
everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. That's it. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. Farming Simulator Magazine. What do you guys think about it? Have you got it already? Let me know.